Uh, hey, I'm Georgie Rose Howe uh, on BBC The Beat, and I'm with my bass player, Glenn, and my drummer, Charlie. And this first song is called Mr. Smokey. They shipped you back to the USA. Behind the bars is where you stay Full of the felons, the rough crooks and the big heads An outlaw with a number, not a name I said, hey, you won't get away Oh, here comes Mr. Smokey He's gonna make you stay What if he's an innocent man? Just guilty prove the state no man can stand for his lonesome behavior. What society goes and makes you when murder makes his theft to cry? I said, hey, you won't get away. Oh, here comes Mr. Smokey. He's gonna make you stay He had to feed his wife and kids But now he's on a trip for what he did Oh no Redemption. Citizens don't get a mention when despicable is your own bed. I said, hey, you won't get away. Oh, here comes Mr. Smokey. He's gonna make you stay. Try, and you won't get away. Thank you very much. Describe the sound and where it's come from, because it's got that kind of country, American kind of vibe going on through it, hasn't it, Mr. Smokey? Yeah, I guess Johnny Cash is the guy to blame <laughs> for that. Um, no, but I think, in general, my music influences and everything like that, really. I mean, it just it just flowed out, that song. I was just playing the guitar, just playing some, like, bluesy stuff, and, yeah, and then the song just developed out of that. Now, the singing and the guitar playing are both brilliant, that goes without saying, and, but, but, but yeah. the lyric writing is beyond that. It's, it's phenomenal for, for somebody who's just 18 this week, so happy birthday <laughs> yeah. to you for that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the lyrics that you're writing are well beyond your years, so where yeah. does this ability come from, do you think? Um, it's hard to say where it comes from, because I guess it was one of them things that just, just happened, and I guess it, I mean, it's so cliche to say, but it's a way of expressing myself, and um, I think personal things that have happened in my life have um, influenced me to write those lyrics. What's um, interesting is watching how you, your lyrics have changed because we first played Retribution, I think, 10 months ago. Yeah. And in those 10 months, the songs that I've heard, you, you, lyrically, you've just become better and better and better. I mean, Retribution was good, don't get me wrong. Uh, but the track that we're going to hear later, A Week in December, the lyrics yeah. are stunning on that. So are you aware that the lyrics either come easier now or that you've, you've become more sophisticated in, in your use of words? I wouldn't say they become easier. I mean, it's hard because it's one of the things that you can't say is easy, hard. You know, it's one of them things that you can either do or you can't, you know, because it's you, it's you, you personally and it's your personal way of expressing yourself. But um, I think, yeah, I think literally, like... I read more books now. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that, that has something to do with it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this song, 
uh, is a nice Christmassy kind of song. It's called A Week in December. Charming, do you remember our week? 